All right, so uh, let's do this uh, little cabinet thing. From what it was saying before, um, I'm doing a smaller version of it all. Um, it said that it was 65 inches in length, but I'm only going to make it, um, I think, 45 because I made the um, I made the bench kind of too long or too short. I can always um, increase it if I want to. See, the TV will fit right here. Um, so we do that, and then we have it's 20 inches in depth, which is the exact same size as that, so we're good on that. Um, but it's 22 inches tall. Oops, delete that. Get another tape and do uh, 22 inches tall. Okay, so doing that, let's do a box. Oh, yay tall, yay long. Give it some depth. Oops, I hate when I do that. Okay. Type it in 20 inches for the height, which in this case is the actual depth right here, but you get it. Okay, length on this is going to be 20 inches, just like that. And I might just squeeze it just a little bit. Okay, that seems good to me. Hit M, give it that gray material. Set it down on here some. Make sure that it is definitely sitting on it. Make sure I click the Y right here. And I'll just bring it down. Okay. I'm going to give it width segments of three. Just so I can mark the, um, the door area here. I really want that in there. I'm going to use that for my to my advantage here in a second. Convert it to editable poly. Alrighty, let's see here. I'm going to take this off. I'm actually going to um, shift drag it out. Call it to object. Call it um, entertainment door zero one all right and I'll select it I'm gonna center the pivot on it all right put it out a little bit like so I'm then gonna take the border of it and just shift drag it back a little bit until it hits it just like that and then what I'm going to do is just scale it in some. Shift drag, scale it in. You won't really see it. It's just putting a little bit on the back. Not much. Okay, so we have that. Now I want to take this whole front piece and I want to convert it to the edges. Control click that. And then chamfer that. I'm just going to do a small chamfer. Something like that. F4 so I can see it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, now what I'm going to do is go to my front view and I'm actually going to just shift copy two more over. And I may have to um, adjust the width because of this. Let's go to the front here. So you see it's just a little bit long. That's okay because I'm gonna make up for it with this. I'm just gonna drag this out. No problem. Done. Okay. So F4. We can see that. It's kind of soft edged except for this. F4. Now I can take these and I can ring select it. Actually, hold on. Let me select these and loop select it. 
then control click remove and get those out of the way. All right, so the edges now, I'll just select them. And you know what? I'm just going to grab the whole, all the edges of the whole thing and just chamfer it. I'll just take it down a notch to like, like that. Cancel that because I messed up. And chamfer it just a little bit. And F4. And there we go. There's the cabinet. And I didn't like how short this is, so what I want to do is just take all the vertices here, and I'm just going to slide it down just a little bit more. There. That gives us a little more room for the TV to sit here on the wall. Yeah, I like that. And if we compare it to the picture, yeah, not too bad. Gives us a little bit more room for, you know, a wider TV. All right. So what I'm going to do now, actually, is mm, we have these little boxes on the wall that just look like picture frames. They don't even look like a picture frame. It just looks like regular matte paintings that, you know, just on the canvas itself, kind of like poster board. You know, I could probably get away with uh, just taking some of these. So let me shift drag a copy out. I'm just going to line it up with the back here. I'm going to call it um, Living Room um, uh, Picture 01. The reason I'm lining it up with the back of this is because this is the wall right here. So I'm just going to do that. And these uh, pictures are relatively smaller, so I can just scale it, something like that. And it's kind of just sitting over it a little bit. Let me go to the front view. Something like that. Bring it over, so we have that. And then we'll have another one. It's kind of lined up with the edge there. And make one more and there's our pictures just like that okay that was relatively easy we're gonna copy the lamp over so that's nothing so I guess in the next video let's uh let's model a quick TV and figure out how much detail we want to put on it and how much of it we want it to be uh, showing with the texture instead so all right see you there